Now let's have a look into first things to themes module. It is used to migrate entire themes as it is to the destination and preserve channels, channel conversation, contents, owners and memberships. Here we can select connection from existing connection or we can add a new source connection by clicking on add a new source connection. We have two modes of authentication, manual and browser. If we select manual authentication, we can give username and password directly here and click on connect to add the connection. We have an option called save credentials which will preserve credentials for future use. Manual authentication will not work if MFA is enabled. In that case, we need to select browser authentication and click on connect where we can use another account by giving username and password. Upon successful connection, it will directly redirect to the choose team screen. We also have two options for edit connection and delete connection. For example, if a username or password of an already existed connection is changed, we can update it by clicking on edit connection or we can delete the connection by clicking on delete connection and we can add new connection. Here in choose team screen, we can see all the teams available for the logged in user. We can select any other team here or we can search for a particular team. We can select a single team or multiple teams and migrate at a time. Click on the next to proceed further for the connect destination screen. In connect to destination screen, same as source, we can select the existing connection or we can add a new destination connection. We can migrate to the same user which is selected in the source or we can select the different tenant or user. Click on next to proceed further for teams configuration screen. In teams configuration screen, we can change the destination team name, group alias, we can add description and we can change the privacy of the team. Group alias will be used to uniquely identify the team. If we give already existed group alias in destination, it will merge the team with the same team. Otherwise, we can change the group alias so that it will create the new team. There are global filters which is used to change the privacy level or visible or enabling to migrate the team. If we go inside the channel settings, we can change the channel name, privacy of the channel, enable or disable the migrate the channel, or we have the options to how to migrate conversation as. By default, conversation will be migrated as post, same as is in the source page. We have other options like migrate it as HTML page. If we select this option, all the conversation is migrated to a file. We can also migrate it as a post and a HTML page. If we don't want to migrate the conversation, we can select don't migrate which will skip the conversation migration of a particular channel. We can also disable migrating the contents for a particular channel. We have global filters to enable or disable or change the settings in bulk at a time. Save the channel settings which you made and click on next to proceed further for mapping screen. All the owners and members of teams are automatically mapped in the background and migrated if available in the destination. If the users are not available in the destination, we need to search the users by name and map them manually to migrate. Proceed further for global settings page. This is the screen where we have additional configuration options. 
Site object exist is applicable for containers like lease, library, sites and settings. In case of incremental or delta migration, this option should be always in the merge. We have item already exist behavior where it controls how to migrate items if already exist in the destination. Don't copy will skip the item migration. Copy and replace will delete the old files and migrate the new files. Keep both will duplicate the files. Copy viewer is to migrate the files which are newly created or modified in the source. We have option like do you want to append the following header to each migrated message which will append a header message to each conversation. If we have a valid Azure storage account, we can enable this option to migrate the teams in a turbo mode which will speed up the migration process and reduces the SharePoint throttle. We can also enable the scheduling and change the scheduling interval to hourly, daily, weekly or monthly. And we can also change the date and time of the scheduling according to our requirement. Inside configuration screen, we have various options to customize our migration. Click on next to proceed for the view screen. In review screen, we can review all the settings which we gave earlier. Click on start migration. Click on view job info, it will redirect to the scheduling screen. It will take some time to complete the migration. Let me show you the previous migration report. We can click on the job to view the reports. Click on session reports. Click on summary. Here we can see all the success and warning messages and logs of the reports. We can also open the reports from the report session here by clicking on migration reports and clicking on the job the summary and we can see all the works here. Thank you.